Hello there, I'm Pete and welcome back to Minecraft. I've done quite a bit of preparation off camera. Uh, one of the things is moving the cow pen from down here to up here. I've also been tending my farm quite a lot, which means that uh, we can get busy with some of this action. Uh, and now, how, do I have an even or an odd number of cows? I think I might have one, two. Okay, well either way, uh, is, there, is there anyone here still wants more? No, I think everyone is loved up. Everyone has found a happy partner. Okay, so that's done. What else have I been doing off camera? Well, attending the farm, obviously. I've been gathering wood. I uh, went over to the forest over here, gathered lots of wood. Ended up in a bit of a fight. A zombie villager came out of the trees and attacked me, and I won. I also got in a bit of a fight under here with a skeleton. He was under these trees. I think he came from in here somewhere. So, mm, ominous. Mm. Anyway, so I've also prepared by making sure I've got lots of materials so I can now get on with building and finishing this house. So one of the things I've got in my inventory is I've got lots of bricks, so I smelted up all that clay. What I was thinking about doing for this is making a kind of chimney thing. So it'll be on the outside, com sa. Uh, let me just pull it up a bit, up to that level. And then there'll be sort of more chimney going up. This is a bit of a fault. <laughs> It's all right. And then with these things, it's nice to just kind of make it a little bit asymmetrical. Um, I might be a bit tall, actually. Let's take one off the top there, one off there. And let's just make some little kind of brick stairy bits from this. I just need two of them. But I'll make four because that is the smallest quantity that they come in. And then, yeah, let's just, let's just fail miserably. Oh, dear. Let's pop it there on there, very good, and let's make our way up so we can do a similar thing here, and that's going to be the, going to be the chimney from the outside, and then there'll be some, some matching stuff going on in the inside. Allow me to elaborate. So if I get rid of that bit there, uh, nothing in the furnace at the moment, good. Come on, furnace, come into my inventory. And then what I'm reckoning is I can slap the furnace down there, and then make a nice little kind of cobblestone hearth around it, using the, the amount of cobblestone I've got. So if that kind of framed it, and then I suppose in on the floor in front of it as well, for good measure. There, and that kind of makes a nice little look, and there's the, the chimney on the outside. So, I'm not entirely committed, this might be a bit too, anyway, this is the principle. Chimney, cobblestone, all good, good stuff. So let's now make a roof for this place, because it's definitely long overdue. Uh, again, I've got plenty of goodies in my inventory. Let's pop that in there. So first I've got some oak wood slabs that are going to go at the front. So again, I think I need a bit of a pillar up. Let's try and do it near the middle to prevent too much repositioning. Can I get that on top of there? I can. Can't quite reach all the way to there, but... So yeah, um, my, I had a brief dalliance with the idea of using brick for the ceiling, but that's just never going to work. And that needs to be higher up, actually. I've miscalculated. There we go. So we've now got that sort of wooden roof on the veranda using oak wood. Yeah, brick just wouldn't have worked. But I think by using a different shade of wood, things going to look nice. Uh, so now onto the roof itself. So once again, let's use some dirt to get up to the the level we want to be at. So for this, I'm thinking I'm going to use oak wood stairs. I'm going to just sort of step it up to a nice little peak. Uh, actually, actually, that's going to look a bit weird. I, I want to actually bring it out. Oh dear. More block breaking. So yeah, I think I actually want the stairs to start out here so that they are overhanging the, uh, the roofy bit a little. And I think I need to overhang at the edges as well. Otherwise it's going to look very, very square on the ends. Ouch. I might run into problems actually when it comes to positioning next to that chimney. But okay, well we'll have to cross that when we come to it. So let's do the same at this end. Alright, I'm going to take a step back, see if this is adding up to the right kind of result. Yeah, I think so. I suppose the, the chimney's going to need to kind of go through the roof. 
Well, we'll, we'll see. Once, once the roof gets a bit taller, things will all start to make sense. I shall uh, jump back to, to when it's done. Okay, here we go. We've got a nice stepped roof on there. The chimney's looking pretty good. We've still got some gaps that we need to deal with. But uh, I'm confident we can think of something to deal with. Uh, I don't really like this. Hmm. I wonder if this needs to come... Yes. Hmm. Maybe if this stayed flat a little bit further. Uh, well, let's start by just using dark oak wood to fill in these ends, because that's almost certainly the right thing to do. You know, seeing things now, I think that use of dark oak stairs around the top here was a terrible idea, and it needs to go. Okay, things are starting to look a little bit more sensible now. I do unfortunately now have a huge supply of dark oak wood steps, which uh, I didn't end up using many of at all, if any, maybe just this one here. But at least the house now looks quite solid. I haven't quite decided what to do with the picture window on the end, uh, but I have in my inventory got some light grey stained glass panes, uh, and that's definitely going to be a part of it. So let's start by popping some in there, and in there, and finally this one. Well, I feel like a big rectangle like this. And let's just fill in that top one. I feel like that's not so, such a bad place to start. Gives me a nice view, doesn't it? So these uh, these glass panes I made, I smelted up the iron I was picking up at the end of the previous episode. Uh, I smelted up the sand I was using at the previous episode, picked up some oxide daisies from all around the place, which uh, sorted me out for... Uh, light grey dye, and then I could combine them together. Now, I've actually got quite a lot of headroom in here, now much more than I originally expected, so it may be that I end up redesigning this place, give it a little mezzanine floor or something. In fact, I think one thing I possibly can do, uh, because of the way this is set up, if I put just there, yeah, I can indeed open it, so I could use this as a kind of storage self shelf up around the tops. That would be quite nice, and it would uh, make the place look a little bit tidier. You know, crafting table up there as well, that's an option. Yeah, could do that, could do that. Right, anyway, darkness is falling, so let's use the bed. And then I'm going to set myself up for my first caving expedition. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. I think I've got everything I need. I've got swords, I've got picks, I've got torches. I've got some stuff, uh, you know, on-the-fly things, spare shovel, stuff for food, the bone and the arrow I got from killing the skeleton off camera, charcoal dirt. Right, I think, I think I have everything I need to make this work. So I'm going to start with these caves here, I think. Um, and I'm going to place torches on the left on my way in to help me able to help me find my way out afterwards. Okay, got a bit of iron there, our first iron, and a dead end. Okay, so uh, we can safely mine this. Okay, five pieces there. I want to gather a little bit more, and then I will stop find somewhere safe to set up and start smelting some of this and... Oh, is that it? What? Okay, there's something in there. Yeah. Okay, there's definitely more cave not far from here. Let's see if we can find it. Ah, here we go. Right. So it was just down here. Okay, there's an enderman in there. Now won't be able to attack me here. Oh, skeleton can though. Hmm. Right. Right, I've aggroed the Enderman. So I can maybe kill him. Creep in there. Can he get to me? He thinks he can. All right. Okay, got to look out for that skelly. Yeah, all right. This is pretty good kill zone here. Nothing sneaking up on me from behind. I should probably try and fence this off just in case suddenly it gets dark and things start coming at me from behind. Okay, how are we now? Still got the creeper down there. 
Not dark yet. Do I hear skelly? Yes, I do. Oh, no. Oof, that nearly went badly. Right. I kind of want to eat, but I'm not in a sort of really comfortable position for making mushroom soup. Hmm. I think I have to make myself comfortable. Right. Let's block myself off there. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's sit down on our crafting table and make some grub. Four mushroom soups. Eat one of them up. Right. Let's get back in there. Nasty skeleton. Okay, skeleton's down. Creeper and Enderman are still there. Uh, this creeper, he's he's got the potential to make my life bad. If he decides to pop me out of here, then it's all over. Like that. Okay, creeper's down. Just the enderman to go. And hope that nothing else... There we go. Right, let's get in there and set down some torches before lots of other, sting, other things start coming out of the gloom. move fast. Right, dead end. Excellent. This is all safe. Cool, we can mine everything that's down here then. I'm going to take another mushroom soup. Get me all charged up again. Now, was there more iron back here? Yeah, yes, there was. Okay. I think that is all the resources that are visible in this cave. I'm now up to a very healthy 24 iron ore. That's definitely enough to get me started and a little bit safer. So I think it is time for us to leave this cave. Uh, it may not be time for us to leave this cave quite yet. Let's, uh, let's just make ourselves safe in here for the night. And just that in case of spiders. Yeah, all right, let's, um, let's get some stuff smelting. While that does its smelting thing, I'm just going to dig around a little, just in case I can happen across a seam of coal. Because I haven't yet found any coal. I've been making do with charcoal, which works. Ooh, a little bit more iron in there, nice. And a little more. I can't believe I'm getting all this iron and no coal. Okay, the pickaxe is pretty much broken, so let's head back to the furnace. I imagine lots of that iron is ready for picking up, and it might even be daytime now, which will allow me to get back to my house in relative safety. No, definitely not daytime. Still, what can we make with all this iron? Well, I think the first thing to do might be an iron chest plate. I think an iron sword is definitely very important. Uh, what else? Iron pickaxe next on the agenda. And I think I quite like some shears as well. But the iron does keep coming, so what's next? Boots? Helmet, maybe? Um, bucket. Bucket is very useful. Useful tool. Well, now I've got this iron pickaxe, I can go down and continue that little staircase I was making. Another little spot of iron. Okay, mine that out. Hurrah, a seam of coal. Excellent, we'll take that. Healthy little seam there. It's got to be daytime by now. Let's go back and pick up that iron from the furnace and make our way back to our home. A successful caving run, I feel. Um, well, I would have liked to have been able to explore a few more caves but at least I've got some useful resources. It's a good start. And next time I go out, I'll be much better armoured and equipped. Still looking quite dark out there, which comes as a surprise. All right, well, let's uh, 
drop a couple, uh, drop one more piece of coal in there. What's next? More armor. Right, let's make some tread. Tread? I was going to say trousers, then realized I didn't have enough iron for that, but I can make a helmet. I do worry that things might be waiting for me out there, though. Hmm. All right, starting to lighten outside a bit. So it's definitely not going to be long before I make my move. Grab this crafting bench. This is my sort of travel crafting bench. And just wait for it to get a bit lighter outside. Chomp on a mushroom stew while I wait. Actually, before I head out, I have actually got enough iron to make aforementioned trousers. Let's do it. All right. The furnace is finished. Let's pick it up. I'm sure it's light enough. Let's chance it. Right, let's get ourselves out into a clear area as fast as we can. I think... I think there's nothing following us. I think we pulled it off. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. Next time... Hello. If you ruin my crops, I'll be very happy. Ow. Yeah, nice. So yeah, next episode, all sorts of good things are going to happen, no doubt. As to exactly what they are, I couldn't possibly say. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Pete. Cheerio.